Hey guys, welcome back to another video today and today I'm going to be going over different hunting tips and tricks and then also the types of animals to hunt so you guys know what's the best and it's going to be like an in-depth guide like a kind of like a um kind of like an add-on to my um beginner's guide and, be f and make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn post notifications on so you don't miss a video and let's hop into it yay First thing you're going to want to do is come to tribal forest, spawn tribal forest, and then the easiest way to do this is get into a high place so then the animals can't get you. And th this is going to be like bear hunting. So see that? So I think that's a bear. No, that's just a bush. Um, so the easiest way to do this is just get into a high place or trap the bears. And I recommend coming here if you're a beginner to bear hunting so you don't get like wrecked by the bear. But, um, and where's the bears? Here, just give me a second. I'm gonna try and find some bears. So let's see. Okay, so for the first spot, um, it's very open. Um, people can easily get you, but the bear usually spawns like right there. So you're gonna wanna um, just stand on this log, and then um, try and find it for you guys. So I can give you an example. Let me get my horse to try and find it. Come here. Um, yeah, because the thing you guys gotta remember in this game is that you can't outrun a bear no matter how much you try. So it's really hard. Um, okay, there's a deer. Um, should get to it. Come over here. Oh, there's one. See that? Attacks you, does. Let's see. About 80 damage to you, and then once you get up, it's gonna attack. Yup, there I go. I'm dead. Ye okay. So you don't want to do what I did. So once we found it, let's just spawn back. Okay, spawn tribal, and come over here, right here, and then go do what I told you. Stand on the log. Okay, it's right there. I think. Yep. There it is. You want to snipe it, maybe, or whatever rifle you have handy. Chase me. Okay, see, it's coming. And watch this. So, it's going to come at you, but it can't get you because you're on the log. And I recommend using a sawed-off shotgun or whatever revolver. And does uh, shot it. And usually a drop a pelt and sometimes a claw. But those are very, very rare. So, yeah, if you're a beginner, you can start here. Maybe go into a small server. And, yeah, so that's one way to begin it. And... Uh, there's also another way I'll show it to you guys really quickly is go down the cave and then you can trap the bear It's another really useful way, but you have to have like really good guns and I recommend using a team so you don't get completely wrecked But I'll show you guys really quick. So you come down the hole right here and it Could take some fall damage. So just be aware of that. Yeah, see someone's right here and The bear usually spawns right there. These people didn't place the tent, right? But so what you want to do is right, kill the bear first that gonna okay, kill it like that kill it okay okay there it is bear claw so drops a bear claw but he took it, it's fine um yeah so uh, you can you, oh, I think he's gonna do it yeah so you can place a bear um tent there so then when you spawn to get trapped so that's another way to do it and yeah let me just cut to when we Start hunting the gators. Okay, here we are to the gators and you can see he's here's this guy I found this guy sniping already, but usually what they'll do is they're very fast and once you shoot them they're very hostile so in their area they're gonna they, they hurt quite a bit. They get you down to 40 health off one hit, so basically two hit kill like a bear. But you just wanna try and kill him here. They drop gator skin and um gator teeth, so it's like right below the um Right below the bear, so it's not bad at all. So yeah, that's one way. That's another um, animal, and it only spawns in the swamp area. Um, I recommend using a sniper for this part, so you don't, so you can easily get some pop some shots on them, and then run up here, get on this ridge, and then yeah, just finish them off. So that's one way to get them. Um, they drop the gear, it's gonna get your teeth, yeah. So what right away once you shoot that, it takes two headshots of a sniper to kill them, I think. Okay, right up here, and then what you're gonna want to do is just completely shoot it for headshots. 
Um, use whatever revolver's handy. But, yeah, so, that's one way to do it. And so when they spawn, and yeah, that's pretty much gators, not too much to see. But let's move on to deer. So here's deer, and first of all, you're going to want to try and go for a headshot, because if you get close, they will run away. Like, before I shoot, I'll show you this. If I come within, like this, they'll run away. So you want to quickly, so you want to snipe it from a range. Where's this guy? Oh, right there. Okay, here's one. And with a headshot like that falls down and they only drop a deer pelt which sells for pretty good money so like if you're a beginner i highly recommend farming these things and let me see if anyone dropped them i want to just equip my torch so i can see better no none of them dropped yeah but usually they'll drop a deer pelt and animal meat so it's guaranteed every time they'll drop an animal meat but like for the pelt and stuff that's a rare thing so it won't drop like every single time but there is a chance okay here's another deer try and get a pelt Ooh. yeah okay see how, see how um fast they run away so you want to be very quick oh, is it on is he dead you see oh yes he is there's another deer oh there it is drop the pelt see that um the pelt's so okay um, but deer can be very annoying to farm, so I personally refer to the- I personally recommend the bears. But, yeah, that's all you pretty much need to know about deer. They spawn all over. And, yeah, I'll cut the bison. Um, let's cut to that. Okay, hey guys, I'm back at the spot now. The bison spot- Oop, here you go. Yeah, as you see, their main attack is they'll charge at you and try and run you down. But a sniper headshot to the face should handle that, um, quite quickly, I think. It's good farming because like if you have the links, it's pretty much like one shot to the head, so like that. And they will drop a bison pelt, I believe. Um sells for less than a deer pelt, I think, but it's still pretty good. Hunting is pretty good in this game. Oop. Oh, I'm dead. They do the same damage as a um a bear, I believe. So you wanna be really careful. You just spawn back here. Um I'll spawn at the windmill camp, so it makes it easier. Oop, here we go. Yeah, so there's two camps, the outlaw ca the windmill camp and then the outlaw's purge camp. So basically what you want to do is you want to spawn up here. And then usually maybe like if you have a friend on, you can snipe them while your other friend collecting collects the pallets and stuff. And then you can um, split the loot. So but if you're just by yourself, you can pretty much... Well, I think I'll just come down here. So let's see. Don't take too much damage. Just have health. Oop. come over here and usually what people will do is very useful I feel like you can place like this green tent I recommend you got the green tent um, green tent and white tent are both the same just designed differently green tent more useful so I'm gonna get it like that and then you can just like well I guess you can attract them first so they come running and then take a shotgun and then just boom and then boom and then just drop okay there it is see that a bison pelt and yeah, that's what they drop. Guaranteed, guaranteed meat every time for every animal. And then the bison pelt. Sells for not bad, I believe. So, yeah. This area is about northwest. So, like, right about here in this bison area. And then if you also come to, like, let's say if you go to, like, I think it's, like, across here, the Great Plains. And the Tribal Forest, no. But there's many different little bison spots, very grassy areas that you can find them. And they drop that. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about farming. No, sorry, hunting. Um, yeah, those are like the most common animals people farm. The most common, probably, I would say, is bison and bears. And also gators. So, yeah, that's, the two, that's all you need to know about. So, you got the bison, you got bears, you got deer, and you got gators. Um, yeah. And... Really quick, um, I'm going to transition, but I'm going to get all the pelts and show you guys like the sell price for each one. So you guys know which to get. And yeah, let me show you guys that. Okay, so here I am with the different items you get from different animals around the world and around the map. And so you got the bear claw, the bear pelt, bison pelt, deer pelt, gator skin, and then the gator tooth. So... 
Bear Claw sells for 160. I think that's like the most high price thing. Yes, sells for a lot. So that's most useful. Like that. Yep. And Bear Pelt sells for 140. So it's like right below the Bear Claw. So it's not bad at all. So it's very good. And yeah. So also in farming these animals, I recommend you don't pick up the meat because they only sell for 50 bucks. And that's not very um, profitable. So you don't want to do that. And then the next is the gator skin sells for $55. It's okay, but not as good as the bear pout, of course. So, yeah, it's okay, but it's like medium range. So, yeah. Then you got the gator tooth, 100 bucks. Very good, not bad. Um, bear, claw, uh, bear claw is better, but yeah, this is what they... It's a rare drop off the gator. Um, same thing with the bear claw. It's a rare drop off the bear, so yeah. And then you got the bear pelt, um, five dollars less than the um, gator skin, so still okay. Medium range, and yes, yeah, very good. So I don't recommend you farm these those because they can get very tedious, and a lot unlike with the other animals, which you get like two things, make it quicker, fill up your inventory quicker, and this thing only drops one, and it's a very low chance. So I don't ha I don't recommend you guys farm this, but if you want to, that's all, it's only up to you. It's just my opinion, so. Yes, and then lastly the bison pelt. Oh, so it is okay. So the deer deer pelt is the least um, Least amount of money, but then the bison pelt sells for 80. That's actually pretty good I didn't notice that sorry about that But like so maybe if you want you could farm the bison sell for more But honestly up to you like there's different ways like maybe like you farm the bison more and more you get more money um, but for the gay skin maybe you farm longer and then you get more money so like there's different ways to do it depends yes and so yeah that's like all the things you can get um, I recommend you get a full inventory before going to sell it I like the general stores and actually one thing I want to show you guys really quick before I go is before we go is um there's a secret shop money you don't know about um so it's over here it's a general store so I don't have to walk all the way to bronze Let's see come over here I got this from a person, by the way, so I'm not taking any credit to this, so... Um... It's very useful, I feel like, when you just have to sell your stuff. Also, when, I, when you go to the hunting cabin, um, you don't have to individually sell like that. So, um, it makes it a lot quicker if you just sell it all in big one, one big lump sum. So, if you come over to Callahan Manor, over here... Um... Oh, this is where I talked about, like, really, like, the best horses and stuff, so, like... There's a general store. No, not many know about this, but you can just come in here and sell your stuff, buy some stuff, whatever you want. But yeah, that's like one really useful way to do that. So, so that no money. But yeah, that's one way to do it. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and let me comment down below. Let me know like I'm gonna be playing some transitions in this video to make it shorter. But yeah, let me guys know what your favorite part was and like what I should do in the future. I'm probably going to do a series on like different things like next maybe I'll do mining and then outlaw and then bounty hunting. So yeah, stay subscribed for those to come soon and yeah, have a great day guys.